What's up guys, it's Jay with Bearded Dad Fishing and today we're talking about five pedal kayaks under $2,500. That's right, with so many options on the market today, it's easy to get overwhelmed with high price, high budget kayaks, but there's at least five options under 2,500 bucks and we're gonna talk about those today. But first, dad joke of the day, how do you introduce a hamburger? Meet Patty. Before we jump into number one, just as a heads up, all the kayaks we're talking about today are linked in the description below if you want to take a look at them. And also, we're not going in any particular order, so not by weight capacity, price, or popularity, just five awesome pedal kayaks that are under 2,500 bucks. So with that, let's get to number one, which is the Perception Showdown 11.5. Now this kayak is 11 and a half feet long, 36 inches wide, weighs 90 pounds and has a weight capacity of 450 pounds. So a pretty good weight capacity, especially for that under 12 foot mark. Now this kayak looks familiar to you. It's because they took the Perception Outlaw 11.5 and turned it into a pedal kayak. Everything else for the most part stayed the same. It has some pretty decent storage with both the rear tank well and the front tank well. One of the cool things that Perception did include is a storage pod that you could put right in that front tank well and it fits perfectly. So if you feel like going out with something big, some more space, you don't have to have the storage pod. However, if you know it's gonna rain or you just wanna cover your gear, you can just pop it right in there and the bungees hold it down. It also has a junk drawer slash catch-all drawer under the seat. Looks a little bit smaller than some of the other ones we've seen but still a nice touch to have. This kayak also comes with the standard rails on both the left and right hand side, which on this kayak, they also double as the side carrying handles, which I thought was pretty cool. And another really cool feature perception included was the double barrel rod holder. So on either side of your seat behind you, there's two double barrel rod holders that hold two rods on either side. So if you decide to not bring your crate with you for whatever reason, or just to pack minimally, you know at the very least you can have four rods with you stored vertically behind your seat. One thing I would caution you about is if you fish a lot in shallow waters, I would probably consider another kayak because there is no bump up system for this prop drive. So if you hit a submerged log or some rocks or something else, all that force from that hit goes directly into the drive and into your kayak. So you're taking the full brunt of that. And if you hit it at a good speed, I imagine you can damage a couple things. So if you fish a lot of shallow waters, uh, I would just be very cognizant of your areas and your surroundings if you're using this kayak. And the Perception Showdown 11.5 comes in at $2,249. Number two is the Van Hunks Elite Pro Angler 13. If you watch my second video for big guy kayaks, you'll know that this is the kayak with the highest weight capacity that I've been able to find. So this kayak is a 13 feet long, 35 and a half inches wide, weighs 77 pounds and has the craziest weight capacity of 660 pounds. So if you're a big boy like me, this is a great kayak for you to choose or if you wanna take someone out with you, again, a great option. Besides the fact that it's an awesome price and it has the craziest weight capacity I've ever seen is the fact that you could decide between a prop driven pedal drive or a fin drive, which is really nice and both of them come from Van Hunks. So you can decide whatever is best for you and your fishing style. And if you're not ready for any pedal drive system, you can buy just the hull and upgrade later to whichever drive system you want. And this kayak has tons of awesome storage. In addition to the rear tank well, which is really, really big, they also included a bow tank well as well. They also included a center storage slash battery pod as well. Uh, which is a nice touch because again it gives you that versatility to kind of do whatever you want with the space if you want to use it for storage or if you want to use it for a battery for your fish finder your lights etc it also includes an under the seat drawer system and tackle storage on both sides of the seat it also has a dry storage compartment it's not very big but it'll fit your keys your wallet anything else that you don't want to get wet and it also has a really large carrying handle at the stern of the boat almost like the PA-14 does. So it's great, great option to A, pick it up, or B, if you wanna put a motor or some sort of mount on there later on, uh, that option is certainly available. So the Van Hunks Elite Pro Angler comes in at $1,445, 
plus the pedal drive, which is another $600. So bringing you to a total of just $2,045. And if you're not part of the Facebook group, make sure you jump on over there and find us at Kayak Fishing Dads and join the conversation. Kayak number three is the Hobie Mirage Passport 12R. So this kayak is 12 foot long, 34 inches wide, weighs 83 pounds, and has a weight capacity of 400 pounds. And I'm as surprised as anybody to think that a Hobie pedal drive will be in this countdown of kayaks, but here we are, and that's really exciting. So this kayak is the roto-molded brother of the standard Hobie Passport, which is a thermoform type of kayak. Uh, and some people prefer the roto molded. I certainly do, and I feel like there's a little bit more strength to them. One of the cool things is that because it is a Hobie drive, you can upgrade this drive to any of the other Hobie platform drives as well. So you can put the 180 or the 360 drive, and you can also upgrade the fins to the turbo fins as well. It also includes the Hobie seat, and Hobie is known for making some really comfortable seats. So it's aluminum frame and it has that mesh breathable uh, fabric as well, which is great for the hot days. There's also two flush mounted rod holders in the rear of the kayak, a paddle rest and holder as well, and obviously some gear tracks. Now this Hobie does not include the H bars, but it's upgradable to have H bars later. So if you wanted to include those H bars, which are really awesome to customize, you can add it to this Hobie. Like all Hobies, they come with the reinforced scupper holes, so you can use the scupper cart that's sold uh, directly from Hobie. You always hear people talking about don't use scupper carts because it can break the scupper holes, which generally is true. However, Hobie makes them specifically for that. So with those Hobies, again, they're reinforced and they're meant to take that type of pressure on. A cool feature that Hobie included with the Passport is that they're kind of meant to be stacked one on top of the other. So if you have two in your truck bed or on your roof rack, they're meant to lay uh, real flat on each other and kind of even lock in, which is a really cool feature to help minimize uh, space when you're storing them. And this kayak is available in both the 10 and a half or the 10.5 and the 12. So you have two different size options here. And the Hobie Mirage Passport 12R comes in at just $1,999. And kayak number four is the Three Waters Big Fish 108. So this is a big kayak. It's 11 feet long. 38 inches wide, super wide, a haul weight of 135 pounds. That's right, super heavy, and a weight capacity of 450 pounds. So big haul, big weight capacity. You'll generally see that side by side. And my buddy Lucas over at the Outdoor Conquest used to rock on one of these for the longest time. And this kayak is wild. I mean, it's, it's taking some serious abuse. That guy goes fishing like it's nobody's business. And he's fallen out before, but he's never been able to tip that thing. And he's a tall dude as well. So great kayak for us bigger fishermen out there and a great price as well. So it has a huge haul. It's the Trimoran style haul, which is why it has such an awesome weight capacity. Uh, zero points for speed, but tons of points for capacity. It's made for stability and us bigger folk out there. It includes the ProFish prop pedal drive system as well. Same drive that you find in a lot of the fill free kayaks because Three Waters is also fill free. It has really big, nice molded in handles, both in the bow and the stern of the kayak. So it also comes with a bunch of awesome storage, both in the back and the front with huge tank wells. And in addition to that, it has a hatch in the front so not only is it kind of like an open tank well design but it has a lid that flips open so you can also store a battery down there or some extra gear which is really nice it also comes with the easy rider seat from feel free uh, it's a four-way adjustable seat so up down front back so you can really adjust it to your comfort level and of course it has the mesh fabric on the seat too because nobody wants sweaty cheeks in the summertime in addition to that, it has rails on both the front and the back of the kayak, which is really nice. So plenty of room for customization and flush mounted rod holders with tethers already included. So that's a nice little touch from Three Waters, the fact that it includes those tethers in there. It also includes rod tip protectors on the bow of the kayak. So that way, if you lay down your rods, you can put them right in there and you can be assured that they're not gonna break if you run into a branch or a log or something while you're moving around. And this kayak comes in at $2,099. And currently, at the time of shooting this video, this kayak is on sale at Eco Fishing for $1,799. So you might be able to get it for an even better price. 
And the last kayak on our list, number five, is the Old Town Sportsman PDL 106. Now this kayak is 10 and a half feet long, 36 inches wide, weighs 76 pounds, and has a weight capacity of 450 pounds. So tons of weight capacity. It's also one of the smaller kayaks on our list as well. I have the 120 version of this kayak and I've had it for three years and I absolutely love that thing. Super stable and I love the pedal drive system. So this drive is the PDL drive, has a five year warranty. So any defects, any issues, Old Town will come through and fix it real quick. Some of my favorite features on this drive are the fact that it's instant reverse because it is that prop driven drive. Also, it's easy to pick it up. So if I know I'm gonna, I'm going back to the launch or there's a, some submerged trees or something under me, it's real easy. You just pick it up and it pops open and it stays open. If for some reason a drive were to become dislodged, from the front of your kayak, it floats, so you never have to worry about it sinking. So a lot of these drives from other manufacturers don't float. This one you could put right in the water and it'll float. And again, just one less thing that you have to worry about. And it also has a dry hatch storage right in the drive. So it's actually fully dry storage. I've put my cell phone in there, I put everything in there and it stays completely dry and I really like it. In addition to that front space on the drive, it does have a lot of other storage areas as well as the, on the kayak. So it has a really big rear tank well, which again, perfect for your crate and everything else you're bringing with you. But it also includes the craziest front hatch I've ever seen. Uh, you can store four or five rods in there with ease. On my 120 PDL, I easily put six and seven rods in there on a regular basis. So you could put tons of rods in there, which is really nice. You can also store your battery for your electronics and anything else uh, in that storage space, which is really versatile. It also includes three flush mounted rod holders, two facing behind you and one facing in front of you, which is nice. So it's right on the side and uh, it's easy to just throw your rod in there after you land a fish and worry about getting the hooks out and everything else. So some people don't like that front facing rod holder and they replace it, but it's honestly one of my favorite features on this kayak. It also has a really comfortable seat, again, adjustable like a lot of these, and it has the mesh back and bottom fabric as well. So it's great on those hot days. It also comes with a deployable rudder, a paddle clip to keep your paddle secure, rails on either side for full customization, and of course, my favorite, the cup holder. And the Old Town Sportsman PDL 106 comes in at $2,449. If you guys like these kayaks, make sure you check out my top seven kayaks for big dudes, just like me, right here. Till next time, guys, peace and God bless.